Hey class, this is Katrina Berg, and for your week five additional resource video installment, I wanted to cover chapter 14 um, and highlight some points. Chapter 14 is part of your assigned reading, um, but again, I feel like there's some really important parts to bring out and I want to talk about. So the chapter talks about legacy approaches, sales, and public relations. Um, Public relations and sales um, are different than marketing, but they complement marketing. Um, they complement the organization, the communication to the consumer. Let's talk about some key definitions. Legacy approach. Um, that is an old system or an old way of marketing. Marketing today has changed. Um, social media is a key part of that. Um, traditional channels, traditional methods um, no longer are as effective. Um, your engagement with a client is at a new level and um, hence you have the legacy approaches. Um, should you do away with your approach altogether? No, but um, Again, that's why strategy and planning are in place to talk about what's happening today, what's expected tomorrow. It continues to evolve. Sales promotion. So sales promotion, um, it's an element of the marketing mix, and it basically can use media and non-media um, to increase consumer demand. Public relations. The definition of this is really about maintenance of a uh, public image. So you as a company, as an organization, have a public image and how you handle that um, through internal means. Um, it could be a PR department. It could even possibly fall under marketing or maybe no one's really doing it. Um, an example of some of a company that really needed PR recently due to some fallout would be Wells Fargo. Um, they had a breach of trust with their consumers due to management pushing for higher sales quotas and um, staff ended up creating accounts without um, consumer approval um, to increase their numbers. So the company has had to um, rebuild their image and rebuild their trust. Advertising. Advertising is the activity of producing advertisements for products or services. Finally, professional selling. This is a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Um, a sales representative would meet with an individual with the intent to sell a product or service. So key definitions, legacy approach, sales promotion, public relations, advertising, and personal selling. Let's talk more about um, sales. I am not sure if you've heard it before, but I've heard it frequently in um, some organizations that I've worked for previously that the sales team makes the money and the marketing team spends the money. So whether or not you find that true in your organization or your experience, um, I will leave that up to you. But um, the marketing team and the sales team generally serve two different functions with the same intent. Um, the sales team will go out there to create the business transaction um, to provide that service or product to the consumer, whereas the marketing team is going to create that campaign, create that content, create that promotion to attract the consumer, to make the consumer aware of your product or service. Public relations. So public relations, as I alluded to earlier, is about image. Um, but public relations can also be a powerful tool to create awareness of your company um, and thus your product or service. So um, let's say, for example, that um, your company decided to donate um, after hurricane. Um, we just recently had a hurricane that hit North Carolina. Um, and let's say that um, water was donated, so you're creating a commercial or you're creating a press release showing your donation. Um, that giving builds a positive brand image to the consumer. And the next time the consumer shops, the intent would be that the consumer would choose your product or service. Um, I know that I personally have at times chosen products or services based on my knowledge of the company, um, giving locally to the community um, of the company, supporting a cause that I support. On the other hand, I've also chosen not to purchase certain products or services, um, 
based on my knowledge of the company, supporting or not supporting um, a cause that I believe in. So again, just be aware that um, press releases, public relations can influence the consumer's perception of you and your company um, and can influence it positively. Um, you know, if an the AP wire would pick up a press release that you send out, that is great free advertising or even sending out a press release to the local community about what you're doing. Um, you know, even if it's something for your staff giving back, um, again, it's building that image of who you are as an organization or a community. So those are the highlights. Um, let me know if you have any questions, class. Thanks so much.